What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Logan here with Octane and Zip Ties. And today we have a slave cylinder and a clutch master cylinder change on this Forester. So you guys have probably seen this is actually, well, gave this Forester to my brother, my little brother. He'll be driving this month. And uh, of course, you know, he's practicing driving stick manual, whatever. And it, the clutch, the slave went out. So uh, went to my local O'Reilly's and luckily they had it. So I'm going to be changing that and maybe a few other things today. Stay tuned. All right, so on a 2002 Subaru Forester or any model that is SF5, I believe 99 to maybe 2004, 2005, um, inside the engine bay, you've got your slave cylinder right here. This is what you're gonna be taking apart. So this and the line that is also connected and then connected to that slave cylinder um, well, actually not connected the lines. We're going to be replacing this clutch master cylinder. So um, Let's see what we're working with. Oh, we've got KO. What's up KO? Hi and Diesel's over there. Oh Neighbor just got home. So they're scouting it, scouting them out, but let's see what we're working with. So I stopped by O'Reilly's earlier today and picked up a new slave cylinder so that should be there very hard. Um, this is the valve to bleed it. Picked up some dot three brake fluid and picked up a clutch master. So I don't think the install will be very hard. Um, you know, they feel they feel pretty quality. So I guess we're just gonna go with the flow. This is actually my first time doing a slave um, and clutch master, uh, but shouldn't be very hard so I'll bring you guys you know through the process and hopefully this helps any of you guys out that are also doing the exact same thing or having the same problem it's a bit hot out but uh it's a quick time lapse of taking that apart now I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did so on these Subarus you should have one bolt here uh, for the air box, a clamp that was super easy to take off, and one more bolt. After that, you will just basically pop it out of this and it opens up all of this space. So if you wanna just throw a t-shirt in here or something to you know, just ensure that nothing else gets in, it allows a lot of accessibility for the slave and basically frees you up room. So now we take it apart. The slave is a 14 and so is the line attached to it. I have not looked at the clutch master yet, but yeah, just uh, 14s, those two come apart and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to attach it from the, or detach it from the fork in the transmission, um, but we'll look into that. Ah, look who decided to pull up. What you got, what you got going on? <laughs> oh, mean, bro. R6 dog started raining on the way here. What up, G? You know, Sabian, chill out, chill out. Oh, slobber. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come out of here for some reason. Oh well, it's just gonna leak some out of the sleeve. All right, uh, yeah, should be it. Like I said, uh, showed you guys, um, it was just 314 bolts and this pops right out of here. There we go. Oh, see that brake fluid. As you guys can see, um, came out super easy. These two 14s, and this is a 14 up top, and uh, yeah, a little bit of brake fluid will go on the tranny, but other than that, pretty easy. Now, I didn't, this just goes into the fork. Oh my god, if you guys saw that, it went everywhere. <laughs> well, this just basically pushes the fork in and out to allow you to engage the clutch, disengage the clutch, whatever you call it. Yeah, now we put it back together and I'll, I'll check out the Clutch Master real quick. 
Florida, of course, right when you start working on your car, right after you wash your car, it rains. So we're waiting on the rain to pass. I mean, Florida shine, or Florida, Florida, what do you call them? Sunshine, showers, whatever. Looks, you know, nice and bright out, but it's gotta rain, so. We will get back in a second. Real quick, sun is out and the rain has stopped. So, underneath here, the oh, clutch pedal is connected up top to, oh, can you see it? This right here. So there's a pin on that side to pull out of the other pin. Disconnect those and it should slide right out. Just took off the pin on the other side. Here we've got this hydraulic line. Um, you just grab a brake line wrench and that side and that side. Both are 12s. You um, might want to, oh, might want to take off or take out that brake fluid first so you don't get a bunch of leak and it should just pop right off. When you do that, you'll basically do the exact same thing, putting it back in. I'll show you guys that in a second. Look at this, more distractions. They always gotta come by and distract me from what I'm doing, dog. Oh, those that got fraud. Dang. Okay. Both are installed. Put the sleeve, tighten these two 14s, tighten that, and then these were the two bolts I believe I showed you guys already and the hydraulic line. I'm going to put brake fluid that I have over there and then this goober is probably going to help me. Goober? My goofy goober? He's probably going to help me just bleed the clutch real quick. I'll make sure there's full flow or full uh, whatever you call it. So I you know, push it down, push it up and stuff. Make sure there's full travel and then uh, yeah, we'll take it around real quick. Just make sure the clutch feels good. And it's a pretty simple install. Just put the air box back, air box back on, make sure it's bled and that's it. All right, so I pretty much, I put everything back together. I was filling it up. I tried bleeding it and it would not bleed correctly. And Rosa noticed that a line, the hydraulic line with the metal eyelet that goes to the uh, slave, this right here, is actually leaking from the bottom. So I think that was our initial problem in the first place. I wanted to replace these anyways. The car, even though it's a 2002, oh, I'm close. It, uh, it actually just hit 110,000. So I wanted to replace that. It's gonna be my little brother's. I'm going up to Florida State anyways. Back to school and, uh, but yeah, so one store has it, it's kind of deep, but I don't know. Looks like it's gonna rain anyways. We're gonna make the trip out. The boys real quick. Hit Goldenrod, O'Reilly's. They said they had it. They're expecting us, so we are on our way. Gonna change that out real quick. I'll show you guys how to do that, and then bleed it. And it should be set from there. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we just went to Goldenrod, like a 20, 25 minute drive. They had the part. We picked it up, and let's see if you guys can see out. It is. Well, you can't really see, but. It got pretty bad on the way back, so we came to Trevor's on the way home. And uh, right now we're just bulling. Rosie's eating some goldfish, playing some Xbox. I'm actually eating little bites. Little bites? Right nice. All right, well, quick little break, but we'll get back to you guys in a little bit later today when I replace that and bleed the car. Hi. 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 We're back to the house. You record in a minute. This is the piece we needed. That goes into the slave cylinder. This goes to the hard lines. That goes to the clutch master cylinder. And and yeah, so uh, we just need to take off that down there. And yeah, this line is it's already loose right here. Oh, never mind, it's on. So I'm just gonna take that apart real quick and replace it and and then bleed it, should be all good after that. All right, so this is the K2 
cable that we have to take off that was leaking somewhere on here. Um, if you can see back here, I tried using a um, brake line wrench, but it's just, there's it's so tight. Um, I ended up taking off this bracket, uh, which just holds up this line right there. But um, it was kind of a pain. I ended up finally getting getting it. Um, it's just little turns, you know, until until you can get it off with your hand. Yeah, it's still tight. So um, if you end up having to, if you end up having to replace that, um, it's a pain to get to. I just take off that bracket. But other than that, I believe I just take that off. It unscrews. I'll be able to screw in the new one and then just attach it back to the sleeve. Lead it from there. <laughs> All right, we're finished. Um, on this side that I showed you guys earlier, the uh, little hydraulic line, the brake or the uh, clutch master line that goes to the black one. There's a little clip uh, to get it off. The little clip that I just used some some big needle nose pliers, pry that off. Um, attach everything. Make sure you have a washer on the top and the bottom. Other than that, bled it real quick. Uh, Trevor and Rosa just held the clutch, opened it, let all the air out, and now it's it's stiff. So put the air box back on. Uh, air box is just this, this bolt, this bolt. You just pull that apart right here. You just pull that apart, and then uh, there's this clamp, and then it's just a few vacuum uh, or a few air, whatever lines these are. You can just, you know, grab that and open them up. But we're gonna take it for a quick drive real quick. Make sure the clutch um, doesn't have any air pockets in it while while driving. And other than that, it uh, that concludes the slave and clutch master cylinder install. Super easy, guys. Honestly, as long as you have the parts, it takes about maybe an hour or so. Um, you know, if you don't watch all the video, you know, it'll take you longer, of course. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, like, comment, hit that subscribe button. A lot of content on the way for you guys. Appreciate.